All right, well, this is Mark's desk, and uh, I guess it's going to be Mark's office, too. Uh, and in case you don't know the story of the door, that is my bedroom door from 1966 through 1980, well, I don't know, 83, 84. And I've taken it with me from, you know, my original house. Well, actually, it was the second house that I lived in. And something of recent... Uh, recent importance is uh when we had do it with dan here when we were shooting out of the cessna we were this was in our old building against the wall and he was messing with a styre aug that uh, he didn't know was loaded so he, he shot through the door through the building uh went outside came back into the building so uh another accidental discharge yes accidental it's not negligent i'm taking it back it was an accident we didn't we weren't negligent anyway that, that's a that's a crappy subject i don't even want to talk about it but somebody told me that it's uh it's actually changed from accidental to legal to uh negligent for legal reasons so you're it's easier to sue you if you've done something negligent as opposed to something accidental which makes me hate negligent discharge all the more but did i say i wasn't going to talk about that well this is uh something that i've posted on instagram and on my mark serbu gun designer facebook page and People have not figured out what it is in general, and uh, if you'd like to guess, um, you should guess because it's going to be fun. Uh, let me grab some. Oh, well, that's not a loaded round or a live round, but you can see what it's. You see what caliber it is, anyway. All right, as we move across the desk, uh, there's a, a crappy Jennings. I guess they uh, they're now Jimenez, but it's an old Jennings. 22 caliber, one of the crappiest pistols, but one of my first pistols, I bought one just like it when I turned 21, except it was silver. Really bad gun. Uh, here's a fake, um, some kind of watch given me by a, a commercial pilot buddy of mine, Mike, one of the crudest individuals I know, good friend. Um, apparently I have store credit at the Home Depot, I don't know how much. And look at this, I got a, a flaps switch for little airplane That's, so you can buy these things for 30 bucks and I made it myself so it probably costs about 500 bucks there's an Uzi ramp Uzi feed ramp uh, which I'm actually gonna be producing somebody saw it in my Uzi video and said hey did you make more of those and I'm like, yeah I did but I got the program around I'll make a bunch more here's something that should interest a lot of people see this carpenter 158 steel versus 9310 look at that the exact same carbon very similar silicon very similar nickel, very similar exact manganese, very similar chromium, and so some people don't realize that Carpenter 158, which is proprietary to Carpenter, is pretty much exactly the same as 9310. Um, so you know, a lot of people don't give a crap about those things, but that's interesting to a lot of people. You gotta have that stuff. Now, note my desk is not normally this messy. Well, yeah, it is, but it's, a, it's actually even messier now because we, we just moved. We just took a bunch of stuck out, stuff out of boxes and, and threw it on here. But uh, this is interesting because I just I, I won a mini or a, an Uzi pistol on Gun Broker, and they've been playing uh, you know like musical chairs with the delivery on. That's pretty annoying. Twenty millimeter round. You got to have that on your desk. You know who doesn't need a twenty millimeter Hispano Suizo round? And of course. New skin, you, you get cut a lot in the shop. In fact, I just wire brushed my uh, hand the other day. Well, that was nice. Uh, and I didn't put that on there only because 50 Cal Val was nearby and she wanted to play nurse and, and put crap on there. This is fun. This is a, a silencer I made a long time ago. And it was main, main, mainly to make fun of this guy. Everything he made is called the something masters. So I said, okay, this is the sound master. But due to its shape and appearance, I decided it was the rectal concealment model. What's funny is the guy who did the laser engraving for me, for me on this thing, uh, look, also it's, the guy's name was Doug, so it was um, Doug Melton. And the serial number is, where is it? Oh, no. I thought this had the, one of them was DHM OU812. You know, haha, U812. But the guy who engraved this for me was this, very born again Christian, very humble, quiet guy. So here he is having to laser engrave rectal concealment model. He was he was kind of embarrassed doing it. Oh well. More silencer, something semi secret. I'm not talking about and shouldn't be showing. Um, big old base of a I don't know. It's a, almost a four inch gun. Uh, 
It's actually kind of funny because usually you think of these as brass and this is copper. Some guy gave this to me. It was off a ship that, I don't know if he was on in World War II. He was old enough. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, space ball for my CAD stuff. If you guys know about CAD, space ball is a great thing to have. Who knows what round this is? Please comment below. It's, uh, it's very cute, that's for sure. And of course, who, who doesn't have linked up 223 Tracer on their desk? I wonder if this is still good. No, 1231, yeah. What year? 1231 of what year? I'm going to try it. Okay, who knows what this is? There are a few people out there who know, know what this is, but this is it's a very unusual thing, and this is related to it. And what's what really is crappy about this is this was all chopped to death in a crunch crunching machine, and look at this. This piston's brand new. This gun was never used, so a very cool gun was all chopped to hell by our government. Yeah, it's really sad. Uh, this is part of the same gun. This should be a should be a giveaway there. Who knows what that is? And there's some other stuff over here right? off of something that hasn't flown yet. 3D machine data out of Delray. That's pretty interesting. And some other sort of secret stuff here I don't want to show. And that's about it. So look around. Well, I'll look around behind me a little bit. See if there's something. Hopefully there's nothing secret. Yes, it's, there's normally not just crap piled on the floor and stuff, but it's, again, you know, just, it's just unloaded from the other shop, and uh, it's, it's kind of hard to get all this stuff going. Just a quick look around, then I'm going to say goodbye, because I don't know what's in view here, except mess. 90-inch TV that a friend of mine who owns a storage unit got. Somebody left it in there and didn't pay their rent, so... It needed a power supply to be fixed, which we got fixed, and now it's now it's in my office. It still needs to be hung up on the wall. So we've only been here for a month. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Um, you know, I appreciate you guys watching my videos, even though they're not all, you know, the greatest videos in the world. I try to put out try to put out some cool ones here and there with some interesting stuff. Every now and then, I just put in filler like this, and uh, it's a big day, big weekend. My uh, son's getting married in about. Uh, Oh, about four hours <laughs> and uh, my buddy who's been in prison for 10 years is getting out tomorrow and I'm going to a uh, I'm gonna fly up to his place uh, his parents place up uh, near Orlando so that's pretty exciting so it's kind of a big weekend for social stuff which you know I don't do too much social stuff because I work all the time thanks and I'll see you next time